Deep in the woods of eastern North America lives a giant winged insect that looks, flies, and even sounds just like a massive bumblebee. But what if I told you that this mysterious hairy creature is hiding more secrets than you might think? Meet the bee mimicking robber fly, one of the best bee mimics of the insect world and one of the most elusive animals to come by in this mountainous forest ecosystem. Today, we're searching the deciduous forests of northern Georgia intently for one of these mesmerizing flies. But while it isn't our main target, it wasn't a long walk to find another amazing member of the robber fly family. All right, children, we literally just now got to the trailhead, haven't even entered the trail itself yet. And while it isn't what we're out here looking for, it is a much tinier, but still just as awesome member of the same family. This right behind me, right down here on the trailhead is a very tiny species of robber fly called Atomosia puella. Now these things are incredibly common out here in this area of Northern Georgia. However, before then, I had never seen this species in my life. And now it seems that they're everywhere. This species is very small and for whatever reason they love perching upside down on artificial structures like this trailhead right here and I've also seen them on curbs earlier. Right behind me there's actually two individuals, a male and a female. The males are a little smaller than the females and the male seems to continuously be trying to hover around the female trying to get her to want to mate. So I'll leave these absolutely beautiful tiny Atmosia puella to be Maybe they'll end up making more Atmosia puella. But let's head into this trail, this beautiful dark wooded area, and see if we could find one of these giant bee mimicking robber flies. Those Atmosia were amazing, but now it's time to step foot into some real habitat to find something much bigger. This dense, dark, and moist wooded area above a rocky canyon, far from any disturbed habitat, is the area in which species of these bee mimicking robber flies can be found. They love perching on the tops of broad leaves to scan for food, so that is exactly where we're looking. After a while of walking down this trail, I finally noticed a huge black and yellow creature perched exactly where I thought it might be. All right, children, this beautiful and humongous insect right here is my lifer, bee mimicking robber fly. Robber flies are a pretty diverse family of predatory flies that can grow to enormous sizes, though their size is quite variable. They have huge eyes and a sharp venom injecting proboscis that they use to demobilize and kill their prey. Then they inject digestive enzymes into their prey to liquefy the prey's insides and then suck it out through that same proboscis. Many robber fly species are mimics of other potentially dangerous insects, especially bees and wasps. And this beautiful bee mimicking robber fly is no exception. Compared to many other robber flies, however, this is some of the most convincing mimicry. And this is without a doubt a mimic of some of the huge bumblebee species that could be found in this same region of Northern Georgia. Now there are a few other genera or groups of closely related robber flies that do also mimic bees. But I can tell this is a Lafria or a true bee mimicking robber fly for a few reasons. One, if you look at the shape of the abdomen. It's pretty narrow from the side view but pretty wide from a top view. Second, if you look at the proboscis, this is actually a very distinctive trait of the genus Lafria. It is flattened down the middle and kind of compressed sideways. A lot of robber flies have a pretty conical shaped proboscis that is sharp at the end. However, the proboscis of Lafria is rounded at the end and is flattened down the middle. This very distinctive shape is because Lafria almost entirely specialize on eating beetles. I didn't see this Lafria eating at all. I wouldn't have bothered it if it was eating, but that proboscis is perfectly evolved for fitting in between the elytra or the wing caps of beetles. When beetles are rested, they fold their hard wing caps on top of themselves, leaving a little slit down the middle. Because beetles are almost entirely armored, they are oftentimes a very bad prey item for robber flies, but the Lafria has found a way out of this. Since the proboscis is rounded at the tip and flattened down the middle, it could fit the proboscis straight in between that little gap between the strong, bulky wing caps of any beetle prey it wants to eat. And because of that advantage of eating beetles, beetles comprise of most of the diet of Lafria. A few species of robber flies, especially the bee killers or genus Malifora, mimic bees in order to be able to get closer to bees and eat bees. However, for Lafria, their bee mimicking is probably more of a defensive tactic from predators instead of an offensive tactic for finding food. Since Lafria mostly specialize on eating beetles, their bee-like appearance is almost certainly to deter predators from eating them. 
as even though they do have a venomous bite, that venom is nothing compared to the sting of a bumblebee. And I'm pretty sure that a predator like a lizard would much rather be eating a fly than a bee. I can tell that this individual is a male because he has very exposed genitalia. Male Lafria have very distinctive bulb at the end of their abdomen, whereas a female Lafria would have a pretty concealed ovipositor, or the organ that she would use to lay eggs. Now I mentioned before how I could tell that this is a Lafria and not one of the other many robber flies that also mimic bees, but since their bee mimicry is so good, how could I even tell that this wasn't a bee in the first place? I mean, when it was flying around, I actually thought it was a bumblebee. It makes the same kind of buzzing sound, they tend to land in the same kinds of places as bumblebees, except these don't pollinate flowers, and their color scheme is basically exactly the same. Robber flies, and all flies actually, only have two wings, whereas bees, wasps, other related insects will have four wings. Second, if you look at that face, you can see that proboscis that a bee wouldn't have. You can see those huge eyes that cover most of the face, and those distinctive antennae, that kind of form a V shape coming out of the head. Lastly, if you look at the face, you could see a bush of hairs that is right in front of the eyes and on top of the proboscis that would not be there on a bee. This is actually a distinctive trait of the family Acillidae or the robber flies as a whole, known as a mystax, which is just a fancy word for a mustache. This tuft of hairs is to protect robber flies' face, which is probably their most vulnerable part of their body, from prey fighting back. A lot of robber flies will be eating things that could fight back, like bees and wasps. Having that mystax there serves kind of the same purpose of our eyelashes. It protects their eyes and the softer parts of the front of their face on top of the proboscis from prey biting or stinging back. All right, we've spent a lot of time here looking at this beautiful Lafria, and we have also seen some other really cool flies out here. So I feel like it's time to let this absolutely gorgeous bee mimicking robber fly go. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here, where we learn about what is probably the tiniest species of robber fly in the world. Yes, even tinier than the Atmosia we found at the beginning. Enjoy!